So for today, we're going to be looking at the ornaments for the Titans. Oh my God, guys, you guys got some dope looking shit. I would, I would probably say you guys won from the ornaments just because both of these are amazing. That being said, I do like the Warlocks ones as well, which we will look at in the next video, but Titans, let me know what you guys think. Which one are you, are you guys going to be picking up? Be aware that these are dropping for bright dust, so you guys don't have to spend real money, but if you are impatient, you can just be aware again, bright dust. It is being sold for bright dust this season. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. But other than that, let's look at these dope ass ornaments. So for the first one, we're going to be looking at Synthoseps. Synthoseps finally good, got a decent looking ornament. Not to say the other ornaments aren't bad. Like they actually are really, really cool. Specifically like the photodraulic actuators is really dope. I like the flex enhance replicate. I do like that one a lot, but the augmented auspice, which is this one, the one that we're looking at is just it's so good because it doesn't have the problem of the other synthoseps ornaments where the actual like shoulder pad is above your head it's like almost at eye level this one is literally right where you're, it's supposed to be and that's why it's probably going to be my favorite ornament for the synthoseps just because i don't have to like be super finicky with it i could just do whatever i want with it as in I don't have to make sure I have a chest piece that's high enough so that way these shoulder pads don't look weird. I'll have an example right now what I mean, but it's just very annoying to have to think about that when I'm just trying to make something look good. And it's already like another layer of annoyance that I have with the with the ornament. So for us finally having just a normal ornament that also looks super fucking cool. I'm already happy about it. As for how it shaders, it shaders really well. I don't see anything that I'm like getting mad at. Uh, there is no like thing that doesn't change color. Echo Anger looks super, super cool with it. I really, really like it. The Abyssinian Gold also looks really cool with it. Granted, I don't like the brown color, but again, it's more so of just, I see so many pieces that are changing color and that are also taking colors pretty well. So I'm really happy with the shadering of the ornament. As for the example set, I ended up going for something. Okay, so let me, let me explain a few things here. The whole shtick about this look is the fact that I'm trying to really narrow down pieces that have lines because for the arms, it kind of looks like muscle tissue. So that's why I went with the star crossed heart because the abdomen has that like, like the lines, which look like just muscle tissue. Granted, I think, and this is weird for me to say, I think the cross heart chest piece and the boots would have been the better choice just because both of those pieces not only go together, but the boots also have that like line tissue looking thing. So I do think the star cross boots would have been the best choice, but I chose the frost strike greaves because it also does have the lines on like the top of the thighs. So in my head, it's just like, there's still lines. It's just underneath armor. And then the Forian mark, this one I specifically chose because there's lines in the back of the mark. So once you see like, when it turns around, you guys can see on the sides, it has the lines, which is why I decided to put the, put that one. And then the helmet, Ver Veritas helm, just because it's a skull helmet. So I would probably just tell you to switch out the boots for the crossed heart uh, chest piece. If you only want to use one piece, if you want to use both piece, by all means, it's, it's going to look super, super dope. I would probably switch out the Florian mark for something else. But this is a good start to like where my head was going. The only unfortunate part is that for females, it looks kind of small, especially with that chest piece. But overall, I think th this ornament is super dope. Let me know what you guys think. As for the second ornament, it is for Lorelei Splendor. Now, this is really, really cool because it is another Viking themed set, which is so cool. This is going to make you able to do some like Valkyrie looks, which is exactly what I'm going to try to do. And it also glows really, really well. I really love this ornament. It's super, super dope. Speaking of glows, it actually takes shaders really, really well. Just be aware that the glow is really massive. And I'm talking like the whole wing on the side takes the glow, which is really, really cool. Especially if you want to do some really dope shit with some glows in the game. Uh, I think Echo Anger looks really, really cool with it. I think Abyssinian Gold also looks really cool. That like, like that orange is just so cool. But overall, I do think shadering this is going to be such a fun thing. Do be aware, though, that the uh, the faceplate, like the, where the eyes should be, 
is taking a very darker color as you guys can see from abyssinian gold it's like a dark dark brown and i've never really seen that color on abyssinian gold so be aware of that uh the bottom like the mouthpiece is also taking the off color as the same as the like the 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 ball not balls these circles on the wing also take the off color so be aware of that as for the example set this is an old set that i made a long time ago like I think when when uh, we got the uh, no when we got the solar 3.0 that's when I made this build and I still think it's amazing. I just ended up putting the ornament for it because I usually have Lorelei Splendor with this look, and I think it looks amazing. I think the only thing I would switch out is just make it a little bit more Norse uh, themed because it's not Norse themed. I think the Touch the Legions mark makes it look more Roman or just gladiator than more more than anything else. And then the solstice plate also, I feel like, makes it more, uh, uh, not Viking is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, I would probably just switch those two out because uh, I do think Radiant Breaker Gauntlet looks really, really cool. And the solstice gra graves, uh, I would probably switch those out as well. I did try to make a Viking themed set, but unfortunately, I just didn't like how it came out, which is why I didn't make it. But that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i think titans ate really well this season for the ornaments just because both of them are really 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 cool and again be aware that it is going to be sold for bright dust soon so i would probably just tell you just to be patient and wait but if you are impatient then just get it out right so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later